Hi, my name is Brock Nevitt, and I'm the children's pastor here at Eastside Church. As the children's pastor, it's my job to uh, grow these kids and, and give them uh, the tools that they need to just to live a a power pack life for the Lord, you know, even at a young age. And I think that's something that's possible. I think that a lot of people don't really realize that kids can really live a life for the Lord. Uh, you know, at, at seven years old, at six, at eight years old, they can go into their schools and they can really impact uh, the, the children around them, the, the other kids, their friends, and everyone around them uh, for the Lord. I really believe that. And, you know, we, uh, when you're dealing with, with kids, when you're dealing with elementary school kids, uh, you really want to uh, give them an, an environment that's fun, that's energy-filled, that's, uh, that's not something uh, boring and, and rigid and everything like that. You really have to be flexible, and we want to we have as much fun as we possibly can uh, back there, but at the same time, we want to introduce these spiritual truths. We want to introduce God's Word uh, on a level that, that they can understand, that they can take home, and, uh, and that they can practice uh, when they're at home, when they're at school, wherever they are, that they can practice uh, God's Word uh, on, the, on their level, uh, on a seven-year-old level, that they can really get uh, God's Word, that they can really understand that they can pray outside of church, that they can pray for people and expect that, God, that their prayer is going to work you know, that their prayer, that God is going to hear their prayer and He's going to act on it. That if they can get that at a, at a young age, then just imagine what, what's going to happen when they get on into middle school and high school in the, in the uh, workplace or whatever, that they can, uh, just, just the spiritual implications that come from a, a seven-year-old having a, a foundation of Jesus Christ. Yeah. One of the ways you do that is with a big idea, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my team and I, uh, every month we have a new new series, a new, uh, new curriculum each month. And uh, really every Sunday we write uh, these big ideas, we call them. And uh, usually they rhyme. Uh, it's just a really short, uh, short statement that uh, they usually rhymes and... Uh, it's just something that's easy to remember. What would be an example of a big idea? Uh, some of our big ideas uh, might be uh, when I look in the mirror, what I should see is exactly who God created me to be. Uh, you know, it's just something that's really simple, something that's uh, short, sweet, to the point. Uh, but if they, if they remember it that week, that's great. If they don't remember it that week and maybe uh, 10, 15 years down the road, they're dealing with something, maybe a self-esteem issue or, or something where, where people might be uh, uh, putting them down, they can remember, you know, when I, was, when I was in area kids, when I was in children's church, I remember that when I look in the mirror, what I should see is what God created me to be, not what other people are, are telling me I should be, not what other people are telling me that I am, but it, exactly who God created me to be, that's who I am. And so that's, that's really our, our goal. When we, write these, when we write these big ideas, our goal is in 10, 15 years, maybe when they're in middle school or high school, uh, wherever they're at in their life, that they can look back on some of these uh, statements and, and they can know that if I want God's voice to be heard, I have to take time to read His Word uh, so that they can, they can go out into the workforce, into their schools, wherever they're at in, the, in their lives, and, uh, and they, they can be impacted by the Lord.